Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome to a build which I've never really shown before on the channel. So this was a test build I started when I built the Compact Bomber in this season. And it's similar to the Hawkeye Bomber which I built a season or two ago, but I simply never finished it. The idea is this will be the final flyer, and I just can't finish the season without completing it. I was going to do this as a whole separate video, a full video, but then the Nomad came along as a great finishing idea and I just forgot about it. So, once again, consider this a free extra video and the Nomad video will be coming out very soon, hopefully by midweek. So then, let's get to building. Let's have a quick look-see what we already have. So we have the two cabs here at the front. In my opinion, this looks way better than the front of the last few Hawkeye vehicles. The link to those videos, by the way, will be in the description and or the comment section. Then we have the wings, which I'm not entirely happy with, ending with this pattern like this, like a step pattern, and then one extra set of wings here. Now I'm fairly certain this can't actually fly right now. I don't think it has the lift, and I don't think it has the speed. The back section is also a little bit weird with a non-permanent wheel there. But either way, let's just test. Can this thing fly? No, it certainly can't. Okay. It's a little bit too front heavy as well. That's not really to do with lift, so we do need some more weight on the back. So to begin with, Let's add some extra speed to this thing. So we will be using the Hawkeye rotor fans. The reason is, I think they look awesome. But where should I put them? Now if, now if I put them too high, it'll push us down. But I do kind of want them here. But I feel like the center of mass will be closer to here. But eh, maybe not. The compact bomber had a set of these rotors going all the way through the center. So we're going to do something similar to that. But instead, we're going to have two sets. Uh, okay, so remove that, remove this. And of course, this will be a bombing plane, but it'll, it will also have missiles. It's going to have both of them. So consider this a best of both worlds. Rotor fans. And which way are they facing? Not that it really matters, but I do kind of want them the correct way. There we go. Have one section there, one section here. And let's go to about there. So the question is now, will it fly with this extra momentum? So then it gets the speed faster, and yo! Oh no, we are in the air, okay! That was my fault then, I didn't realise we were in the air, so I accidentally pressed the wrong button and caused us to land. Let's try that again. Still seems like it is front heavy though, because it did want to go back down. Okay, so it gets in the air very quickly, then you have a short period of time to actually get it to lift. How are the controls currently? Really slow, really sluggish, not enough lift to allow us to do many things. That was the problem with the original Hawkeye craft. Oh god, can we even fit through this? Just about. Ah! <laughs> well, we got hit the Oh wow! That actually made me jump, you bugger! Okay, let's get back to the start, if we can. Okay, why am I turning so sharply? Okay, yep, yeah, this thing definitely needs a lot of work. Maybe even larger wings. Just a bit more lift on this thing would be lovely. Looks cool, though. It's nice having a starting frame. So where did the rotor get destroyed there at the front? Okay. Hmm, it's not quite as front heavy as I first thought. Still pretty front heavy, but let's see if we can land this. Let's see if we can get this lovely thing to land. Hello. Perfect. Okay. Reattach this. Then let's decide on our next step. I don't like that gap here. Oh, I've used it for the wing tips, haven't I? Ah, that explains that. Okay. Also, I think what would look nice on the top is an extra one of these. Excellent. Okay, so here's the thing. The reason why I never end up using my Hawkeye Bombers is because they are so difficult to control in a short space of time. They're e actually very easy to handle, just very, very difficult to turn quickly or to use in a small space. So what we need to do is figure out how to fix that, and honestly, the answer should be with the wingtips and the plume wings. As you can see, when the plume wing is vertical like this, we can use it like so to help us turn, which is weird to do sort of like that, and then when they're horizontal it helps us with pitch. 
both of which will be more effective the further away from the center of mass they are. So I think making this thing bigger might be better. Continue to be quite lightweight in the center, and it also gives us a lot of space for us to add our bomb section, which would be really, really nice. The thing is, I don't want it to be so long it looks weird. How's that? Now, now the wings look a bit small. We could always increase the size of the wings, though. That wouldn't be difficult. But I think I'll then want to increase the size of this section, which also shouldn't be too difficult. Just add some blocks here and extend that shape forwards. But let's see how it flies now with the same amount of these. Just further back. Oh, yeah, that pitch is far better. Now, I did say both this action and pitch would be better further back. I'm actually not sure about this particular one because I'm not an expert in that type of thing. Maybe it's worse. I honestly don't know. But the pitch is definitely better. Still not fantastic, but better. Also, can I increase the draw distance a little bit right now? Because it's getting really annoying. Did I turn that down at any point? Seems like I turned it down at some point, very minorly. Still annoying, though. Yeah, still nowhere near agile enough. Okay, land again. Let's make some improvements. Oh, that's better. That is way better. It's still very slow, but considering the weight of this thing, obviously a huge bomber like this really shouldn't be agile. I know that. I know in real life you don't exactly see most bombers, especially old-fashioned ones, doing very many tricks, at least very quickly. But I would like it to be better than it was, and that definitely is. So a spine of these things, A, I think looks awesome, and B, really helps out. That also means... The ones at the back could all be converted into pitch. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. Okay, let's land this again. Still love how easy this thing is to land, though. Even though I messed that up then, it still lands with no damage. Lovely. Yep, that can definitely pitch better. Can it actually now do a loop? It couldn't before. It's still too sluggish, but it's getting there. Oh, yes it can. Okay, well it couldn't do that before, it actually stalled, so definitely an improvement. Now, of course, the problem is I haven't yet added the weapons or half the weight to this thing, but at least we've got a few proof of concepts. Good, good, good. Okay, let's land this thing, and let's continue to bulk it up a little bit. Lovely. Here we go then with the weapons themselves. So first of all, the bombs. And that's a little bit annoying because of how we've added the fans. Hiding these bombs is going to be a little bit more difficult than it originally was going to be. Still though, that is a nice cluster. So that's quite a few just put there in the center of the craft. Or at least the very center of its weight. And then we can hide these with just a few of the corners. That should look okay and hidden enough. Not so hidden that you don't know this thing has weapons, but hidden enough anyway. Come on, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Thank you. Um, actually, that's not too bad. It does go over the side a bit, but that's fine. Then let's put a block there, because why not? Okay, so, main section of weapons added. Wow, that has really made the front heavier, but yep, yeah, we're still off, and still can pitch just fine. That really is a cluster, though. I'm not so happy with that. It's going to hurt like hell, anything that gets hit, but trying to actually hit things will be a bit difficult. Also, worst landing ever. Still no damage, though. That looks better. It's a small thing, but it looks nice enough. Don't like this edge, though, but I feel like this is a very minor thing we can definitely work on at the end. Yeah, still wouldn't like it like that either. So, yeah, that's definitely a section we need to work on. Right now, though, there's areas which are a little bit less done than that, which I think need some more work. I'm also really, really wishing that we could have the missiles and the bombs on different buttons, because right now, 
Every time I, I wish to use one of them, both of them are going to end up firing, and that's not really something I want. I suppose we could just put these along the wings. It wouldn't be difficult. It definitely has the space, and it would look okay. Yeah, that's what, that's what I think I'll do. Let's just put them along here with the fans. Doesn't make the most sense in the world, but looks okay. Admittedly, four on both sides is a real waste of space, but this means I'm not adding all, all that much weight. And I do think it looks pretty nice. And they all land on the floor, as always. Let's get back to the main area. Oh, can this thing not take off anymore? Yeah, I think the wings may need to be a little bit bigger. Yeah, I no longer have the ability to actually take off. Excellent. Well, a bit more weight on the back as well would help out quite nicely. Okay, so more wings are definitely helping a lot. Just added one extra normal wing section and then some of the plume wings mixed in and the pitch has increased, the turning's increased, and we get off the ground easier. Who would have thought more lift on a plane would be helpful? It's also a lot more stable, as you can see. It almost doesn't dip at all now. It can go for quite some time before it eventually lands. I'm tempted to make them even longer, but again, I don't want them to look silly. But that is actually quite quick turning with pitch, considering how heavy this thing is. Okay, let's land. Maybe mess around with more wings, maybe not, either way. Let's see. This would be a lot easier, I honestly think, if we could go into Venture and use things like the tail wing here, because this is such an effective small wing. It adds so much power, well, in terms of control, but I just really hate how Venture looks on Hawkeye. It looks awful. There are definitely better options than what we're using, but if you only use Venture, that's when it's a little bit more difficult. The creations I've seen on the, um, on the workshop, which seem to work incredibly well, really spam wings. They look a little bit odd. I mean, they look awesome, but not quite the look I'm going for, because I want a more sort of traditional looking craft, as much as I am going further away from that every moment, and not something which looks almost meta-built for the game, if that makes any sense. I want it to still have a semblance of the idea I have in my head. I already do know how to make it better otherwise, but I'm just trying to experiment in more traditional derpy ways. It is me, after all. So let's see if we do this. So only the center being extended once again by one. Way too many of these wingtips I've used now. I'm starting to really hate the look of them just because how many I've used. Uh, what have I done here to not allow connection points? Why is there not a connection point? I can see the connection point, lads. Don't lie to me. Well, that's curious. You can see the connection point there on the end, but but if I use the wingtips, I can't attach them, but I can over here. That's odd. Let's um, restart the mode. Still no. Why not? Okay, if, does anyone know why I can't attach wingtips here? They are the exact same thing. Oh no, have I reached? Okay, I think I might know what it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so what's happened here is I have reached maximum size for the tech. Wow. Okay then, that is... That's a thing, isn't it? Okay, so what do we do about that then? What do we do about that? I guess just this section won't have tips on. Pretty much just that. Well, we still add it to this one. Just not on the very end. That's fine. The wings themselves do have these back sections here, which do act very similar to them. So it is still better having the wing than not. Wow, this thing really wants to lift now. I am just touching the fans for like a second, and it's going that far. This is going to need a dedicated runway. They're saying that, it can get up very quickly now, so that's good. Hi, Terratech. Bye, Terratech. You know, I'm actually happy with that pitch now. That's definitely fast enough. 
Try turning. Because of the increased pitch, actually, that's that's very quick in comparison to our original Hawkeye bomber. It's not fast in comparison to a more regular, smaller craft, but... Yeah, that's fine. Problem is now, if we want any more pitch on the front or lift, we are going to have to start building onto the top section. Which is okay, I just like how it looks, though. Let's land this before we hit that. And let's dodge that if possible, thank you very much. Okay, I think the wheels need to be a bit further out now. We're so far out from the center, it's a little bit difficult for minor controls. Still though, happy enough with that. Let's start building the body and let's see how the back section is going to look. Okay, so... People are going to be really annoyed at me at this point, I do realize this, but because of how difficult these lovely arrows are to see, and because of how far back I was when trying to build this from this distance, I have placed so many of these the wrong way around. It's why we haven't been getting the speed I expected, it's also what was causing the weird turning issues. So don't worry, they are all now fixed. And, let's see. Oh, that didn't actually change the speed all that much, but it is causing a little bit turn on the left. So I probably still missed one, but yeah, still faster though. The reason why I made that mistake is a rookie one, and it's because I've been playing with hovercraft and groundcraft for such a long time now, and not aircraft. Th the arrow only matters if you are in air mode, because in air mode, shift will activate their default direction. If you're on the ground, backwards makes them go backwards, forwards makes them go forwards, left makes them all go left. You get the idea. They don't actually respond to the way their arrow is facing. So now let's find out why we're turning slightly to the left again, because clearly I've missed one or two. I really like how this looks from the front right now. Also, yes, I did fix the asymmetry with the wheel finally. I actually noticed that earlier and then kept on forgetting to move it for some reason. And off we get, and yep, yeah, that pitching is glorious. Still turning slightly to the left though, I'm sure at least one of you has probably noticed what's causing that, but I can't see it. I've double checked all of the turbines, well the turbines, the propellers, and they're all going the correct way. Just double double checking right now, yep, they're all facing forwards. Yeah, and yep, yeah. so are all the back ones. And although it's difficult because everything's the same colour, I have also checked all the tail fins. And the amount of the... Uh, what they're called? Wings on both sides as well. It's only a very slight turn as well, so it must be something really minor. I must have misplaced one block or something. So I've been doing some thinking. And maybe it was a mistake to put the fins down the spine. Obviously, on a normal plane, you have the fins here on the back, so that when you, you know, turn it, it turns the plane more naturally. Similar to what I was just doing then. And rather, by doing this, I've removed the ability to do that quite substantially, but I can turn like this, which is much, much sharper. Not sure if that was really the right call, I just wanted to be able to do that, honestly. It feels more proactive. So now I've got to make the choice whether or not this spine stays. I do like having it there. It's just the turning's a lot messed up right now. Outside of this type of turn. Where's that enemy? Bit far away. So I added a tiny little missile to the front, and now it's causing the front bomb to do backflips. I kind of adore that, honestly. I will call that bomb Larry. Well done, Larry. I can see the problem. There we go, that wing was upside down on the very end. Let's see, has that fixed it? Finally, we're no longer tilting to the left. Okay, wow, this whole episode has just been me making mistakes. You see, this is why the extra videos are so rare, because if I'm a little bit out of it, then, my god, do I make more mistakes than usual. Still, though, we are getting very close to finishing now. I still don't like the back section, though. It looks just too 
long, too, I don't know, splayed out. Need to do something in the center to give it a bit more character and need to figure out how the back's going to look. Then the bomber's pretty much done. Just if we want to add more weapons, we can do that and that's it. So I've been messing with the back section and now I don't want to continue building because it flies so perfectly. It's really responsive, really quick, and it just flies in such a neat way right now. If we just take off, it has a very, very slight incline, which is exactly what I wanted to see. Which means now, every time I add a block, I'm going to be considering rebalancing things. Certainly not the most realistic craft in terms of how it works, but I'm happy enough with it right now. I also still love the backflipping bomb. And occasionally backflipping missiles. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. Oh, it's you two. Why? What on earth is causing those two missiles at the front to flip out? What are you possibly hitting? Oh, you're hitting the wheel because we're moving forward so quickly. Yeah, you're bouncing off the wheel. Um, probably just easier then to drop the wheels. And there we go. Now the missiles fly together. Excellent. Would not like to be a passenger on this plane when it lands like that. I wonder how effective the bombs would be if they were placed sideways. The reason is, I think that doesn't look too bad. It connects well with the wing itself, it's not very obstructive, we can easily connect something to the end to make it look natural, and it's just a really nice place to put them. Of course the problem is, these are going to be dropped sideways. Now the missiles do have a lot of homing potential, but I don't think it's going to be enough to really outdo how fast they're going to go away from the vehicle. But I guess we can find out, so let's just add a connective block to make it look like it's actually being held in and not just sort of strapped in. Ooh, yeah, that, that does look pretty good, actually. Do that to you, remove you, remove you, and then let's do the same. So that's a lot of weight we've just added to the front. Are all the missiles the same location? Yep, okay. Let's see if this still takes off, okay. That is almost flat now. Okay, dropping them straight on the floor seems to work. Let's see what happens when we get back to the enemies. Hmm, that actually does not look bad at all. I thought... Okay, I clearly do not understand the bombs as well as I thought I did. Also, I love how the end ones there bounce. I don't know why they bounce, but I love that they do. But yeah, I thought missiles were sort of expelled at an angle, basically towards where they're facing. And it looks like it's kind of true. They sort of go inwards, but not much. That's actually fantastic. Look at that spread. Anything underneath us is just going to be obliterated. Then anything ahead of us is going to be knocked out by the missiles. Though I will say those small missiles seem worthless. They're so short-ranged. Am I slowly dipping? That's weird. So it starts off with a slight incline. Ah, no, my everything's about to be really painful. Slow down, that's it. Nope, back, 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 back. Okay, note to self, wings lost on the side. So, yeah, it looks like the slight incline stops after a while. Good to know. Let's fix this up and we'll just reload over there. Maybe that would be the better idea, right? Was it those two that got knocked off? No, it wasn't. Hello! Well, that definitely works. That was a lot of death. Well done. Okay, it is now driving me mad. The front needs to be extended and this needs to be closer to the center, otherwise this is never going to look good. Problem is, that does mean a lot of rebalancing, and the other problem is, because of how lift works in this game, it's going to be difficult to make the wings back here. Just allow this to actually fly flat. 
Unless we keep the center of mass more centralized. I guess I could bulk up this area and then... Well, I can't really add more wings either. Either way, right now it looks like we're flying a bit of a stick mixed with kind of a kite slash glider. Not really what I want. Either way, this has been saved, so now any changes we make, we can always revert later. Say goodbye to the back section. I wonder if this still flies. I mean, it tries to. Come on, get up. There we go. Who needs the back section? Wow, that flies better than expected. Who needs the back section? Oh, no, I need the back. No, that is not responding properly to my controls. No, okay, we need the back section. I think if someone is on this channel for craft which look good, they're definitely in the wrong place. That said, I am happier now with how it looks. The front looks a bit more unique and the back looks a little bit sturdier, but there definitely needs to be some work done still. What I'm thinking is maybe using GSO blocks to make a sort of kite pattern with the craft just less extreme, so we build it in here, and then connect everything up with that. It would be a nice grey to contrast the black. The problem is, I think that would look way too busy, and it would add a lot more weight to the craft, and I don't want to make the wings any bigger, because they already look stupidly big. So I'm not sure where to go from here. So with that, I'm afraid I am actually all out of time for today's video. I am mostly happy with this craft. In terms of functionality, it really does get the job done, but I still think it needs a little bit more character. Overall though, it works, and it works very, very well, so can't really complain too much. <laughs> Now, that was a glorious way to end. I will be tweaking this in the future because it's not tied to the campaign. I can always go back to this soon when I've had more ideas. The only thing I can think of is just sort of filling in the gaps, and that's pretty much it. But with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Terra Tech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. And now... I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day off. Though to be fair, I have also been enjoying this as well. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Next episode, The Nomad.